in this video we're going to discuss the conversion between logarithmic and exponential expressions now before we do that let's define what is an exponential function or expression an exponential uh, function is defined as follows y the output is equal to a a constant to the power x now a is called the base and a must be positive and not equal to 1 so this function has input x output y and y is equal to a x uh, so a to the power x so this is our function a to the power x now the next step we are going to define the inverse of this function so this is going to be called the inverse and what I, what uh, wh how do we do it we take the output y of the function ax as an input and then we take x so this is y now and this is x what we have done we have interchanged the input and the output so what was the output here becomes the input what was the input here it becomes the output of this function now this function we are going to give it a name and we are going to call it log l o g base a of y okay very important same base a the log is base a the exponent exponential is also base a now it's the same information it's the relationship between x a and y is the same relationship between the three and it's written in different ways so we're going to go, go here and say okay if y equal a to the power x this is equivalent to saying that log a of y is equal is equal log a of y is equal to x so these two forms are equivalent because they contain the same information the only difference is the format the way it, they are written now this is one thing the second thing we can think of the log as x x is what is an exponent is the exponent so a logarithm is an exponent yes so the most important thing to retain from here is that the same information can be written into either exponential form or logarithmic form and we can go from one representation to the other okay so let's start with example one we are going to choose a base a equal to two and we are going to start by saying that um, two to the power four which is equal to two multiplied by two multiplied by two multiplied by two that gives me 16. so this is the exponential form how do i write the logarithmic form log the same base two two log of what log of the output of the first one 16 equal to what equal to the exponent remember the log is the exponent that's it so again uh, four is the exponent and it's equal to the log good let's go to example two in this example what we want to do is to evaluate find the value of log 2 of 8 now let's call this uh, quantity you are looking for let's call it w so let's write it into exponential form then using the above using the relationship between the log and the exponential so what is the base here the base is the same base as the log 2 what is the exponent remember the log is the exponent w must be equal to what 8 so w now we know that 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 which is 2 to the power 3 this is 8 so we go here this is 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 3 equal to 8 and this is equal to in fact we can just write it here 2 to the power w equal to 8 and 8 is equal to 2 to the power 3 so 
when you compare this with this, what do you say? You say W equal to 3. So we go here and we say log 2 of 8 is equal to 3. Example number 3. In example number 3, what we want to do is to find log base A of the base to the power X. We try to simplify this. Let's call this quantity W. Good. Now let's write this into exponential form. So the exponential form, you take the base A. The power is the log or the exponent. It must be equal to AX. And then when we compare this with this, we say that W is equal to X. Very important. Log A. A to the power X simplifies to this. So now let's take some numerical examples. Log base 5. 5 which is the base 2. That gives me 2. Another example. Log 3 of 3 to the power 1 third which is in fact log 3 of cube root of 3 this is equal to 1 third let's go for more examples log of uh, 2 1 over 4 is equal to log of 2 1 over 4 it's 2 to the power 2 this is equal to log 2. Now 1 over 2 to the power 2, I use the negative exponent to write it like this. And all this is equal to negative 2. So very easy to simplify. Now we are going to talk to, uh, about two special logarithms. The first one is called the common logarithm. So the common logarithm is written without the base and it's base 10. So it's written without base. So whenever you see this, it means it is log base 10. So let's take an example. Log 1000 is equal to... So because it's written without base, it's base 10. 1000 is 10 to the power 3. And all this gives me 3. Another example. Log 0 0.001 equal... There is no base, so it must be base 10. This is 10 to the power minus 3. It's 1 over, this is 1 over 1000, which is equal to 1 over 10 to the power 3. And then 1 over 2 to the power 3, that gives me this. So all this simplify to negative 3. Now, the second uh, logarithm we are going to talk about, it's called the natural the natural logarithm. Now, the natural logarithm, it's written as ln. And it is a log base e. e is a special number given by 2.71 and so on. Uh, there is a formal definition for e, which is uh, given in another video. So, ln of e to the power 2, very simple, that gives me 2. Why? Because when I say ln of e to the power 2, this is log base e, e to the power 2. Another example, uh, the ln of square root of e, this is the log base e, the square root can be written as a power half is equal to one half. Now, something important. Can we take the log of negative number or zero? Let's see. Log of minus two. Uh, let's say log two, log base two of minus two. Can I find this? Can I find log negative 2? Let's see. So I go and express this as an exponential, in exponential form. So the base 2 to the power y must give me negative 2. Now, because the base is positive, this can never give you a negative number. So 
when we talk about the log of any base of x x must be bigger than zero strictly bigger than zero now uh, for the zero can you can you find uh, y so that 2 to the power y equal to zero again no so therefore the log of a of x x must be strictly positive so we cannot take the log of a negative number we cannot take the log of uh, zero um yeah the important things there are two of them at least this is number one this is number two the log of base a of one is equal to zero always let's see why um we take the base to the power zero is equal to now any number we know that any number to the power zero gives me one so this is always true for any base a so for example ln one equal to zero log remember this is the natural log of one also equal to zero log of five of one equal to zero and so on next next we are going to solve some very simple equations either exponential or logarithmic equations so let's solve some simple equations using the idea of converting so for example i have um uh, log base 2 of x plus 1 equal to 4. How can I solve this? This can be solved by rewriting the, the log into exponential form as we saw above. So I take the base 2 to the power 4 and this must give me x plus 1. And now I solve for x. So x equal 2 to the power 4 minus 1 2 to the power 4 is 16 minus 1 and that gives me 15. so this is one way to simple uh, to simplify to solve simple uh, logarithmic uh, uh, equations so yeah this is exa example number one let's go and solve example number two this time it's an exponential uh, uh, equation so let's uh, let's lo look at the equation e to the power x minus 2 equal to 4 how do we solve this we just rewrite it using the log now this is base e remember in base e the log it's ln it's written ln so ln of 4 now i'm rewriting i'm going from exponential into log so ln of 4 is equal to x minus 2 and then i solve to find x equal ln of 4 plus 2. This is the solution. Another example where the, uh, the, uh, the variable, the unknown, is in the base. So let's solve this equation. The log uh, base x of 4 is equal to 1 half. How do we solve this? Very simple. We just rewrite it as an exponential uh, equation. So uh, the base x to the power one half is equal to four now how do we solve this from algebra x to the power one half i just square it and i square both sides of course and when i do this this will simplify to x equal to 16. so what we have is log of 16 x we found 16 of 4 is equal to one half now one more example with the exponential uh, equations so 2 to the power x equal to 32 this is an equation to solve uh, what do i do i go and write it um, in logarithmic form so remember i take the base put it into the log of the base 32 goes here and this is my x the the power remember the exponent is the log and then i change 32 into 2 to the power 5 and log 2 of 2 to the power 5 gives me 5 which means the unknown is uh, x equal to 5. 